Hello everybody, it's Erin Chamerlick back today for the third edition of your natural health battle plan. And we're going to keep it short, giving you some recipes that you can make to support your immune system, things that you can do every day, things that you can do when you're feeling under the weather with simple kitchen ingredients for the most part. So um, if you haven't seen the first and second videos, go ahead and take a look. They're here in Get Better Wellness. I'm just going to check and make sure that we are live so that I know that it is going to be recorded as well. Awesome, we are. Okay, so we um, have given you a lot of ideas and the first day I suggested that you get a index card and just write down the things that um, that resonate with you so that when you feel sick you know what to do you don't have to think about what did she say uh, because you're not going to feel well and you're going to want to make sure that you know exactly what to do so for sure uh, we already have a lot of ingredients on our natural health battle plan from the first day some vitamins that are critical raw honey raw apple cider vinegar uh, fresh garlic and some other things. So today we're going to move on and talk about cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is um, something I want you to start thinking about taking every day and using in your natural health battle plan as well as your wellness uh, plan. So the big deal about cayenne is that and it can be the pepper, which is the powder, or it can be the tincture, you'll develop a preference. So you um, can have both and see what you like. We um, use both. I use the powder cayenne. It's um, got to be organic always with your spices. I use the powder cayenne anytime I can with food. And I like to use the tincture, which is liquid drops in um, just water or a Ningxia Rad beverage or something um, that you like. You can put it right in food. You can put it in your egg salad. And the key, the key is to get it in you every day, every day. It's got benefits for your immune system. It's got benefits for blood pressure. It's going to help open up your blood vessels, increase the blood flow. And so that's why it's good for blood pressure. So, um, and when you're sick, increasing blood flow and circulation is good. So we want that when we're sick, but it's something we're using every day now. It has capsaicin, which you've heard of, that just is the hot. <laughs> and it's going to stimulate sweat glands, which is a good thing, and that can actually benefit you when you're feeling uh, feverish. So spicy drinks that have cayenne in them, um, are going to stimulate the mucous membranes. And contrary to um, over-the-counter medicine, which would try and dry every membrane up in you, the immune system is doing that for a reason. And um, stimulating the mucous membranes is a powerful way for the immune system to bring healing and attack the pathogens that are coming in. So don't take those over-the-counter medicines with all that synthetic garbage and dyes and sugars that's goal is to dry you up because you're going to impair your immune system. What you want to do is natural medicine. What you don't want to do is waste your money on over-the-counter things that are for symptom support but can actually impede your healing uh, process. So Cayenne pepper is going to break up congestion uh, when you're feeling stuffy. It could be your stuffy nose, but drinking cayenne um, will help just speed healing too uh, from colds and flu and just break up the congestion. So if you want to use the powder, start small until you see how you like it. Some of you already are using it. This is not a big deal to you, but if you're not used to it or you're not a big fan of hot, Start small, maybe even an eighth of a teaspoon, and stir that into water every morning. If that goes okay, the next day try a quarter of a teaspoon and stir that into warm water. Warm water is better than cold water when it comes to cayenne. And if you prefer to use the tincture, um, Herb Farm 
is the brand I use. And again, sign up for uh, my newsletter because uh, after the series, I'm going to write all this out for you in, in an email so you can print it off. And with brands that I use, just so you know, um, you don't want to get the wrong thing. When it comes to spices, you want organic. And when it comes to tinctures, there's only a few brands that I'm familiar with that are good. And Dr. Christopher's is one, Herb Farm is one. Um, but if you have a trusted brand, great. Just, just don't go searching Amazon and expect to find really good information. So we can add the either one to a tea. And with the tincture, try a drop. It's probably fine. Try two drops. You might even be able to begin with five drops, uh, even just in water. And five drops um, to, let's say, 15 drops, one to three times a day, would be a good health goal overall for your wellness. And just start to slowly increase it and just leave it out on your counter so you remember it until it becomes a habit. If you put it away, you're not going to think about it. And four weeks later, you're going to be like, oh, shoot, I was going to do cayenne pepper every day and see how amazing it makes me feel and how well it keeps me. So D Dr. John Christopher is a well-known herbalist and naturopathic doctor who is very big um, and did a lot of education on the benefits of cayenne. So there are many benefits. I've only mentioned a few, but look up information. He has his own, you know, line, but I think as a herbalist, he was recommending one teaspoon of cayenne pepper in water uh, three times a day, probably more for him if I had to guess. Maybe it, uh, that's, you just verify that, but that would be a good place to start if you're just trying to increase your circulation, improve your um, blood pressure, keep your wellness in, in tip-top shape. Um, so try, just try different things and see, but start incorporating these foods into your life every day and increase when you're feeling under the weather. So we've talked about a lot of things that are in your kitchen that are going to be in your daily wellness plan and your natural health battle plan, your, your um, natural medicine kit. It's raw honey, um, apple cider vinegar, raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar, fresh lemon and lemon vitality oil, fresh garlic, not powdered garlic for uh, remedies <laughs> and not pre-peeled garlic um, sucked into, you know, plastic. You, you want heads of garlic so you can get fresh cloves of garlic and use a garlic press or smash the clove to release the healing compounds. So remember, when you're feeling like you might be getting sick, Get out a spoon, put some raw honey in it, crush a clove of fresh garlic, and let it sit a few minutes so that the compounds in the garlic activate. Um, you can add a drop of lemon vitality essential oil and then boost it with cayenne tincture drops. I am up to taking nine drops at one time. So, uh, you know, start low and see how it goes. But adding cayenne is going to bring the circulation, um, the, the boost to your um, immune system that all the other things do too. So adding all four is like the amazing, amazing healing um, trick. And if you're feeling under the weather, just do that. <laughs> Raw garlic, honey, cayenne, lemon, hourly, as much as you can tolerate it um, but it will knock it out honestly it will knock it out and so um, let's talk about another recipe that uses cayenne and one of our ingredients from the last two days was raw apple cider vinegar both those things have healing properties you can make this drink and just enjoy it every day so you have a quart mason jar Fill it with three and a half cups of purified water. Add a half a cup of raw apple cider vinegar, a teaspoon or so of raw honey, 
and a quarter teaspoon or more of cayenne pepper and then gradually increase that as the days go by till you're getting a lot of cayenne and then just shake the jar close the lid shake the jar and you have four cups of a drink so just drink one cup four times a day again the recipe will be in my newsletter so be sure and sign up on getbetterwellness.com to get my email newsletter so that you can get all these recipes written out for you let's move on putting cayenne over here and getting out turmeric the golden yellow spice turmeric again um, it is organic only because they irradiate spices and when you irradiate spices that's because they're coming from other countries it's not allowed i don't think and um i won't say that but if it's coming from other countries they're irradiating the spices because they know there's microbes in there that they want to kill but they're killing the nutrient power of the spice so we want organic which will mean it's not being irradiated and um, so we're going to make golden milk with turmeric again put this on your food as much as you can it's an amazing anti-inflammatory and it's been known to benefit like 600 health conditions if you want to know about all of that go to green med info um, and read but we're talking about specific things to boost your immune system being anti-inflammatory is good and it does boost your boost your immune system but you can make this golden milk it's a really nice warm comforting drink um, it's powerful for supporting your immune system it's rich in antioxidants and it's going to be really good for your colds flus and coughs it's anti-inflammatory as i said so it just helps fight off the unwanted virus and bacteria here's the ingredients turmeric <laughs> <clears throat> that is the amazing um, spice and you can use whole turmeric and chop it up it this is just easier I almond milk or cashew milk uh, you could even use bone broth as your base add a teaspoon of turmeric and a half a teaspoon of well in this case you can use dried ginger if you want a half a teaspoon of dried ginger or grate some fresh ginger in there half a teaspoon of the Ceylon cinnamon c-e-y-l-o-n cinnamon is the medicinal cinnamon organic and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper quarter teaspoon of um, no never mind um, one to three teaspoons of raw honey oh I would push it back to one teaspoon unless you really really can't drink it which it's got coconut milk in it so it's going to be very delicious so then you will blend it and um, heat it on the stove gently and if you like add a pinch of salt I have a little hand frother which is on the other side of the room for when I have a mug I can just use the hand frother in there and you can just get those on Amazon for like 10 bucks but it makes it creamy especially the coconut milk it'll just emulsify the fats and and it's delicious so um, let's talk about green tea that's another thing that is beneficial I use this one Arbor teas just make sure you're using loose tea the tea bags are nice but honestly for medicinal purposes buy organic loose tea from uh, frontier is a good place and this arbor teas is an amazing company amazing amazing um, i just found them online researching and so green tea has what's called catechins egcg and it's a potent antioxidant it is great for the whole body but do not buy green tea from China there's pretty much um, no guarantee that it's going to not be contaminated with industrial pollutants so try and get your green tea from Japan and that's probably why I ended up with Arbor teas because I was searching around and I found that they have a really great one and then you just put a tablespoon in um, with water that's been heated but not boiled 
and I have a whole podcast that I did with my herbalist sister on making teas and tisanes, which is the correct term, and she's the one that um, is really against tea in baggies because it's half dead by the time you know it gets to you. And what is in what are those baggies made of? Is it bleached papers and <laughs> whatnot? All right, moving on from drinks, um, detox bath. When you feel sick, take a detox bath. You can take a de detox bath when, de when you don't feel sick and you're going to absorb magnesium. So it's great for muscle soreness, great for relaxation at bedtime. Uh, one and a half to two cups of unfragranced Epsom salts. No fragrance because those are synthetic fragrances typically um, made from petrochemicals. So we will fragrance it with our own you know essential oils I like to use eucalyptus and lavender and so to one and a half to two cups of Epsom salts you can put like 10 20 drops into the Epsom salts mix that first and then put the whole mixture under the faucet you don't just drop oils into the bathtub because oils essential oils and water don't mix so mix it first in Epsom salts Make the water as hot as you can stand it and get in there and stay for 30 minutes or 40 minutes and do not add more hot water because the detox part is when, as the water cools, it's going to, by osmosis, kind of pull toxins out of you. So as hot as you can stand it initially and then just stay in there as long as you can, like 30 or 40 minutes. Another thing to um, stock is not a kitchen thing, but colloidal silver is um, these are drops and I will take a dropper of this and put it under my tongue and hold it and this is like a natural antimicrobial so hold it under your tongue silver this is um, colloidal silver and this is um, silver wings is this brand there's a couple good brands but follow the directions on the bottle because different manufacturers have different strengths and put it under your tongue you can do that a couple times a day when you're fighting something um, it's not meant to be a daily thing though it's when you're fighting something or when you think you've been exposed or somebody in your house is sick but you need to fight germs and then this if you have clogged sinuses or you feel like you have infected sinuses you can take um, the nasal spray version and this is like just see can you see that <laughs> and yes you shoot it up each nostril twice and try and like keep it in there and it's amazing for your sinuses if you have sinus infections you do not want an antibiotic Mayo Clinic said uh, what is it like 96% of sinus infections are fungal giving you an antibiotic is going to make your sinus infections worse it may kill off a little bit of bacteria but then the fungus can take a bigger Hold. And if you have one, two, three sinus infections every year, you have got a fungal issue and antibiotics are making it worse. And you have to go after that a um, different, different way. Uh, so have your doctor read the Mayo uh, study and tell them I can't take an antibiotic for a fungal infection. Last thing, well, yeah, this is the last thing, hydrogen peroxide. Any house should have every house should have hydrogen peroxide and what you can do with this is uh, get a dropper and have the person lay on their side on a towel and then you drop hydrogen peroxide into the ear on top until it's full <laughs> and you'll hear fizzing and crackling and it's like fun and crazy and, and scary at first but it doesn't hurt at all so you let it bubble away because hydrogen peroxide is bubbling away at the germs in there. And a lot of our infections are coming in through that um, orifice, not just our eyes, nose, and mouth, but through our ears. So wait five minutes, turn the head over, it'll drain onto the towel, and then do the other ear for five minutes. We did we used to do this with the kids um, at the first sign of illness, and it really does um, help. So getting a good night's sleep, being calm, not watching the news and getting freaked out about whatever their latest scare is, is really beneficial. Eating nutritious foods, stay off the sugar and processed foods. If you want a healthy immune system, just eat the food that God gave us. And stock up on 
these um, things that are going to benefit your immune system every day without hurting you. And that is our third video, so be sure and watch one, two, and three. And tomorrow I will post a video about essential oils. So if you're interested in that, please come back because we cannot use essential oils from the grocery store, Bed Bath & Beyond, Amazon, health food store. Everybody is um, 